Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Saints game day. Today, we have a stacked of varsity game day today. We have two COD games and one Overwatch 2 game. Once again, I'm your host for today, Matthias, also known as Mothais, and I'm joined by Theo the Holy Juan. How are you doing, Theo? Doing good. Thank you for asking. As you said, three exciting games, two COD games, one Overwatch game. Let's get right into yep. it. <laughs> yes, to start off, we have St. Clair varsity team versus Northwood University in the CCL Premier League. It's going to be a tough one. They're two highly ranked teams. I believe Northwood is ranked fourth in the power rankings and the Saints are somewhere around 12th. So they're going to have a very tough game ahead of them. Both teams are 4-0 looking to keep that impeccable win streak. So we'll see if they can continue on doing that. Yeah, and after that, we got an ace Star League Overwatch. We got our St. Clair Saints taking on Drexel University. St. Clair have a 3-0 record. Drexel, on the other hand, 0-3 record. So, mathematically speaking, <laughs> statistically speaking, Saints are the big favorites. But in a game like Overwatch, especially after that huge new patch, could, could see a crazy upset today. Exactly. There's always room for upsets, especially in Overwatch. It's just gotten so crazy with the new update. You know, the big tweaks are the projectiles and all yeah. that. It just makes it... Insane to play. But then our final match for today, we're going to be bookending it with COD once again. It's going to be CCL, same league, but just the next step forward. And that's going to be up against University of Northern Iowa, or also known as Panther Esports. Looking to be another good game, but Iowa not as highly ranked as Northwood. So we're going to have the big game in the front. And then hopefully if the Saints, depending on how that goes... They could have a good time or a bad time, depending on how their mental is doing after yeah. that first game. Yeah, that Northwood <laughs> game is going to be really important for our Saints. As you said, a top four uh, opposition in the power ranking. Saints kind of a little low on the 12th side. I thought they would be a little bit higher. And hopefully today they can show to everybody why they deserve to be in that top 10 and maybe even crack into that top five as... They've been consistently a very, very strong team. And, you know, that first game, you know, if, that, if it goes well, I think the rest of the season is going to be very smooth sailing for them. Yeah, I think we've casted many of the games yeah. in this league so far, and it's just been a complete uh, <laughs> landslide victory for the Saints every single time. So now they're up against the fourth best team. We'll see if that uh, snowball continues to roll down the path for them because, I don't know, they haven't had to deal with such adversity yet. So we'll see how they play against it when they're on the back foot here but also we have the overwatch game let's discuss that there's been a lot of changes to overwatch that's your area of expertise <laughs> is overwatch me too i love me some overwatch but how do you think this update could maybe shake things up for drexel well you know drexel weren't looking too hot in the previous matters but with this new update uh, some different characters just clearly being stronger than others in Sapporo, especially zenyatta i think is the most important one there by far their strongest support in the game. Too much damage, too much sustain, too much of everything. So the meta really shifting kind of around Zenyatta. And, you know, he's kind of an immobile character. So against a really good team like the Saints, if they can capitalize and find that Zenyatta early, take him out, that's going to be the key to victory. But if Drexel have some sort of anti-dive, anti-poke comp and just are able to play slowly, maybe that could be the key to victory. But you have to remember the Saints could do the exact same things and could do it at a way higher level. So... The meta has changed a little bit. Maybe Drexel have something that we don't know about, uh, some yeah. secret composition. That would be really cool to see, but you know, I don't, I don't really see a way they could take on the Saints today who have been so, so strong. Yeah, it's going to be all up in the air. We'll see. I'm excited to see it. And then we have the bookend for COD. And I think that really depends on how the Saints do in this first game. There we have the lineup for Overwatch. Let's talk about yeah. that a little bit more before we move on to the final COD yeah. game. So the starting lineup for the Saints should be Tread, Razor, Emerin, Soaks, and Noxious, I believe, would be their starting five. All are uh, top 500 players, uh, amazing players. So you can see on the other side of uh, Drexel, they're also all top 500 wow. players except for one person. So in theory, it should be a very good map. But the Saints, you know, they've added in a few new additions this season. Tread on the tank roll has to be talked about a lot, really upgrading this team, I guess. And just playing so, so well around him, they've learned to adapt to his play style very, very early. A very, very impressive start to the season for them. 
Yeah, and once again, maybe the lost streak does not really represent their true skill levels. Maybe there's a few FFs there. Maybe they went up against the top seeded team. You never know. So it could be a very interesting game. We won't know till we get in there. And then the final game for today, I think it will really depend on the Saints' mental after the first game. If it's a complete wash, I think they're going to have a very tough game going up against Northern Iowa there. It's going to be just a completely difficult game if you're just not in the right headspace with any game really but especially yeah. cod if you're not in that flow state if you don't have the momentum it's just so hard to climb up that hill again without a doubt and we can take a look at the starting lineups here we have brandon Priestley, nacho and i believe that is that is kb if i'm not mistaken yes. yeah that is kb who was promoted to varsity from academy definitely deserving of it and uh, every time we've casted has been the best player <laughs> on the saints so Putting on a, a great season for them. It looks at, uh, at the other side, it's Verb, Jordan, Iowa, and Snowy J. So a very, very exciting matchup there. And, you know, I think Saints definitely have the advantage here in, in this second game. And as you said, if they can keep their mental in check after that first one, that should be a pretty good one. But let's look at the side of North, what they are for as well. We have Seven Dak, Infinite, Kalob, and Mock. A very, very strong lineup as well. Yeah, Northwood Esports, just world-renowned for being one of the top-of-the-line teams in all of America, oh. really, for just being one of the best collegiate teams. So it's no, re no wonder that they're ranked fourth in the power ranks. But Saints are one of the best in all of Canada. So it's a really a battle of the borders right now <laughs> to see who will reign on top. As you can see, the players are all lined up, getting ready, and I'm sure this match will begin relatively soon. But I'm just very excited to see how this one will shake up. Yeah, I mean, I agree. You know, they look like they're in pretty good spirits, just getting ready for games, getting warmed up. And this is their biggest game of the season by far, playing such a strong opponent pretty early into the season, I would say. Still, They've only played four games each. If they can take down this victory, they would definitely get a lot of attention from all of the other top dogs. Yeah, this is the match they're looking to prove themselves in. But we're going to throw it to a quick break and we'll be right back with the match to end all matches here. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's going to be a very good match, though. You don't want to miss it, so we're going to throw it to a quick break. We'll see you soon.
Hello, everybody, and welcome back. The long-awaited COD match between Northwood University and St. Clair College varsity team. COD team is about to begin. We're about to get into the swing of things here. What is your prediction for score lines? Oh, this is... Well, you know, I'm going to go 3-2, and I'm going to go with the Saints there. I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling good about the Saints. You know, they've been in good form so far. Obviously, Northwood, one of the best college teams in collegiate, but I think our Saints, if they play their game properly, could take it down. But it's going to be a close one for sure. I'm going 3-2. How about you? I'll agree with you there. 3-2 sounds like a good game. It's going to be a hard, long-fought <laughs> long game today. And I feel like Northwood might win the first game. But I think it's going to go a few more the Saints way. And then Northwood will win the next one. I'm, I'm just doing my full prediction here. <laughs> yeah. And then it's going to calm down to the last point, the last second. It's going to go the Saints way. But we'll uh, see how this goes starting with game one. And it will be hard point as always. I think it's hard point, search and destroy, control, and then yep. hard point, search and destroy again. I, I believe so, yes. So, you know, our, uh, our Saints are probably better in the respawn game modes as we're going to get on their way. Let's see how this map starts off. Yeah, we are on the hard point. Let's see who gets it first. A grenade, a grenade kill from Northwood off the bat. It's going to be Dak taking out Enslea. This control is on the Saints side. They have the high ground. He's jumping down. Doesn't find one. And that is Dak taking two down. And that's Infinite getting one. And getting one right back. Northwood's now in control of Northwood. And they're holding down very, very well. It's a good start for Northwood. But a lot of uh, early pressure also around there by the Saints. As the trade's going to come out there from Brandon. It's going to mock. going to find some beautiful shots onto KB there. As Northwood is getting their score up. 20 seconds left on this hard point is... Top in a great position here alongside Mock. They're finding kills left and right. Saints just can't seem to find anything. And they're going to do so much damage there. They won't be able to pick up the kill. And you see all the Saints trying to rotate over. As Brandon's going to pick up one, but the trade's going to come out from Infinite onto Brandon. There's a new hard point is going to be spawning up in just a second. A great start for Northwood early in this map. of Saints have spawning advantage for the second hard point. There's going to be a pick coming up from Enslea. Priestley in a very crucial position here. Let's see how long they can stay alive here. Mock does have. A really good position here, but is gonna pick up Dak and Mock's gonna find the shots there onto one. Brandon finds the trade. Mock on one HP will go for the pistol kill, will find Enslea, and they just can't take him down. K Top's gonna find the other one. KP's gonna find a melee kill, but he's gonna get taken out. And in the end, it's gonna be Northwood with control of the objective. Yeah, Northwood just being a dominant force right now, racking up one Saints, just having a tough time getting on there. Trying to clear it out with grenades, but they have trophy systems up, that's not going to be good enough. Now they're going to have to push in. Pixie Funds 1 gets taken up by Mock. They get another trade, but it's going to be traded out right again for every pick the Saints get. It looks like Northwood finds one right back, but maybe that's the opening they need. They find one, but it gets traded out once again, every single time. Yeah, perfect trades coming out from Northwood. They're going to pick up almost all the points possible here on the second hard point. Third hard point is going to be picked up by the Saints early, and Priestley's in a great position here. Going to find one. It's just going to hold it down. Infinite is going to go for the 1v1 challenge here. KP's not going to find out when the trick comes out from Priestley onto Infinite there. As Saints still have the time racking up, but K-Top gets in a beautiful position, takes down Priestley, and that's going to make a lot of space for Northwood to make their way onto the side. KP has to be very careful on 74 HP here. Gets stunned up, but will be able to get out with his life. Dax is going to pick up Brandon on the other side. As nobody's on the point now, Saints need to start racking up these points to get back into the game. k Top's going to be able to find a pick. KP finds one as well, as it's going to be nobody on the hard point. That's right now. Northwood seems like they have gotten full control of this hard point. Yes, Saints are finding picks here and there, but they got to get on the objective as Mock and Infinite are going to find a couple picks there. KP's going to pick up Mock, but can he find anyone else on this hard point? It's 82 to 29 as Northwood are looking to run away with this one. Yeah, they're just in complete control right now. The Saints looking to find a pick. He finds one, but look at that. Just trade it out even through the wall. Northwood just knows where their enemies are at. Now with a new hard point, the Saints have initial control, but I feel like that's going to switch very, very soon. Guys behind the wall, that's going to be a misplaced grenade right there. KB, then going to get one, but not going to be enough as Priestley finds it with the pistol. Uh, again, trying to get control. 
Cobb gets another kill there. It's just so in Northwood's favor right now. They just need to get control of the point though as the Saints are finally keeping control of the point. And Saints are doing a great job on this third hard point, just staying alive and finding picks across the map. KB's gonna find a couple here as Brandon's gonna take out Dak and Saints are gonna get a lot of points back here in their favor. Could come to close to tying this one up. 20 seconds left on this hard point and it looks like one final contest will come out. It's gonna be a 1v1 on this hard point and it's gonna be only two sides of Mock, it looks like Mock's gonna be able to get that final yes. picks here on the side as the rest of Saints fall to Northwood, but a great point for them was able to bring themselves within 30. Yeah, they're doing an amazing job right now. They're just 30 or so points away from Northwood. They just need to take one more point back and maybe even get to the lead here. But with Dak just wow. being so precise, look at that. One of the star players, they're just getting kill after kill after kill. Got the count of K-Top here. He's playing defensively very well in this corner. Infinite getting one. Saints not able to find any opening here as Dak gets another kill. Another trophy system goes down, making that point ever so hard to penetrate here. He's going to find one. They get low and slow. Doesn't find the pick. He's going to move fast, trying to get it, but he doesn't find it. And that's two more kills going over to Northwood. Saints just oh, being found him. at every corner, but the stick burns him there and he gets the kill. And it's going to be Northwood getting all 60 seconds of this hard point. I don't think Saints were able to break once. As Brandon's going to go down and say it's going to find a trade on to Mog there. You can see Dak in such a dangerous position with the SMG. He's going to find another, trying to get the good spawns for his team. As Northwood are up at a lot of points. k with that pistol finding Brandon there's infinite takedown. pre is going to trade one back. But let's see if the Saints can maybe make their way closer to this hard point. It's all Northwood as of right now. Infinite in a great position. KB's going to find a couple of picks. Mox does take out Brandon, but Ensei is going to find k -top, And this should give Saints some room to work with as they got three picks there. Are going to get some time on their hard point. Their own Ensei is going to pick up Dak again. And this game is far from over. Saints could definitely rally back here. Inslay is in a bit of a killing streak here. Five in a row now for him. Priest is going to pick up Infinite, and this is a great hold from the side of the Saints. You can see the side of Northwood are going to concede the rest of these points. The Saints, yet again, are going to have a great, great hard point. It's been all green in the kill feed for the past 30 seconds. As Mock finally picks up Priestley. He's going to be on 18 HP. The trade will not come out there. He finds kills on to Brandon, but the last 10 seconds will go over to St. Clair as KB does fall down, but all the rotates are coming over. Inslay is going to be able to pick up one won't find the second, but the trades will come out from Priestley. Finds two, and that's going to be a team kill coming out for the side of St. Clair, as they're going to be able to grab control of this new hard point, and they're going to keep racking up these points, as Priestley seems to be unstoppable at the moment. If they could just keep this up, they might be able to make a comeback here if they could just hold this hard point the entire time, but with K-Top finding a kill, it's going to be very tough. He's playing defensively, and Slayer finds a kill, and that's going to be very good for them. He's going to try and nade it out. There's a kill streak coming out, and that's Infinite getting one. Now there's one from around the corner. He finds one, and that's going to be Priestley taking him out. Now they don't have control. No one has it's control good. of the point right now. It just kills back and forth. No one wants to go in the open and try and die here. He's trying to take it low and slow. He doesn't want to over peek here. There's a slide. He hears footsteps. Oh. His teammate's coming in to back him up. It's going to be a crazy explosive game here. Brent finds one. He's still just being so patient. Look at that trigger discipline. Two. Two. Look at those trades there for Brandon getting two kills for nothing there. And now they're going to rack up even more points. That's still not enough to meet Northwood. Yeah, they're going to be down 30 at the end of this time. You see Northwood are all set up in the next Hard point, let's see if Saints can flip the spawns. 7 HP there, KB's gonna be able to find out some K-Top and that's gonna be a nice little star for them as Infinite. It's gonna be in this corner, we'll go down to Enslay as well. Saints getting the good spawns as well. If they can just find these picks very, very quickly, will be very good for them. Mock does pick up one, Dak picks up the second, Mox on 1 HP. We'll be able to make it out alive as nobody's on this hard point as of yet, but it is gonna be Northwood that have full control of this house. But Saints are keeping them at bay with just two members. They are finally gonna get onto that point. KB staying alive, Enslay is gonna pick up Pick. Priest is gonna find one as Mock trades it back, but three members dead for side of Northwards, all up to Dak now on this side, and he will go down. That's gonna be a retake coming up from the Saints, as they should be able to pick up the rest of his crap time and put themselves maybe within 20 points of bringing this game back. Yeah, it's gonna be a very explosive game from here on out. The Saints are making a comeback for sure. 
learned how Northwood has played, and they are playing around at Northwood, just being so dominant, so aggressive. Now they're finally punishing that aggression. So Northwood's trying to be a little bit more sneaky here. As look at that, hiding in the corner gets the pistol kill. That's going to be infinite. And for a few more, finds one in the window. And he's going to look for another. He has a feeling once there again. The hard point's going to be across the map. He doesn't get the kill on Brandon. This is going to be a nice kill for him, but he gets taken out by Mach. And now they're within 15 points of each other. It's in control with Northwood. They're going to try and widen this gap here. It looks like they're going to be successful as St. Clair is just being picked off by Mach there in the back, but finally Priestley shuts that one down when he gets taken out by Those Infinite. Three. There's a kill streak from Enslay. That's going to be a huge pick there. Might open up the point. No one's on it right now. The Saints are just making a mad dash, trying to get control right now. Yeah, and it's all on Dag here. As long as he's alive, the good spawns will be on the side of Northwood. But it's going to be three huge pick for the Saints. And it's going to be all on to Infinite here on 39 HP. We'll be able to find one, but the Saints are looking to get themselves back into the game here, and they could possibly take the lead here as they're going to get the rest of the scrap time. Northwood are going to be giving that one up and Saints, if they do stay for the rest of this hard point, should be up one at the end of it. But it's going to be Northwood on the other side of the map preparing for the next hard point, trying to get the good spawns. But Priestley is in a, such a dangerous position here on the flanks. I don't think anyone from they're Northwood equal. has any idea he's there, but Dak is going to find that huge pick as Northwood are going to have full control of the site. Dak's going to find the second and the time is taking for the Saints. They can't give up the rest of this hard point. They need to contest it. Let's see what the picks are going to come out. Infinite's in such a dangerous position, but hey, Priest is going to get started for the side of the Saints. Insight knows exactly where one is, but does not pick up the kill. That's going to find Brandon, and Insight is getting shot from all angles. Not going to be able to find those Infinite and Mach find a couple picks, and this is really good for Northwood as they're going to get the score ticking and ticking, and they could finish the game off right over here. Yeah, Northwood looking to close out the game right here, just holding this point, and that's another kill for them. Two kills to boot, and Priestley trying to even the scoreline, but the door blocks the bullets. This might be his chance, and he gets a kill. This could be the chance for Saints to try and steal this one away and try and lengthen this game ever so long. He's looking for the guy under the car. Doesn't find it. Mach finds one. Mach looking for another. There's a gunfight happening. He finds a double kill. Now he's on top of the car. Gets taken out by Enslaya. There the point flips over and the Saints just apparently save their own skins here. Now he's looking for a long range window kill here. He's throwing out the nades. Trying to get any the advantage points. he can get. And the point's already going over to Northwood. They need to rush and fast. They only have 10 seconds or so left. Oh Priestley finds one. That could find another. Oh Two four. kills go over to the Saints. And now they flip the point right over. They could take this one right here if they can hold it long enough. All Northwood needs is five more, four more seconds left on the point. Saints just need to hold this one all the way to the end. It's all down to the wire here. This is the last point. Oh, Infinite he's finding two, three. three. He's going crazy. Priestley shuts him down. He manages to clear oh, the point, but it's it. going to go over to Northwood. And now it's down to the last three seconds, and that's going to be it. Northwood University gets a win, but just barely as Saints almost managed to bring, bring it back. That was an insane map one. Northwood kind of letting it slip away there, but had the advantage early, which let them kind of give those points away, go for the next hard point. And the first hard point, uh, the second one, you know, they got such a big lead there. It was kind of the big reason. Let's look at the score lines real quick. Priestley definitely at some point there went on a crazy spree on Slay as well. Went crazy at some point, but on the other side of Northwood, we had some close close scorelines as well so it was a very very close game kill death wise but they were just able to get the hard point at the right place at the right time and in the end were able to grind that first game out what an amazing first game as well that was very very close a lot closer than you would think the power rankings would have you believe you know 12th and 4th you wouldn't think it would come down to one last hard point so i do believe that the saints have it in them to take the, maybe this next s and d game if they play their cards right yeah they just maybe misplayed a tiny bit or I wouldn't even say, like, their strategy was pretty good, I would say. Maybe just losing a couple of gunfights here and there is really all that matters. You didn't, sometimes you don't flip the spawns at the right time, and then you, all 60 seconds go over to the other team. And Saints, for a couple of hard points, just couldn't break through the defense of Northwood. So that was definitely a strong point. But now we're going to be going into Search and Destroy on map two. What do you think we're going to see here in the second map from both sides? You know, Saints against some of the other teams I've played before, they really go very explosive in this first game. Even if they're on defense, they just kind of like to run it down, get the jump on the enemy team. But with how these gunfights have been going, I don't see them doing that again. I don't think they want to take that risk to just completely throw around. I think we're going to see the Saints play very slow and methodical. And then maybe if they're in the lead, they'll try something crazy like that. But they're just going to play it. Normally try and take the gunfights where they find them, play very defensively, very slow on defense. And on attack, they're just going to try and find something as soon as they can. 
Yeah, Northwood, you know, showing that they're really good with those ARs, but we even saw a couple SMGs here and there, and maybe we're gonna see some maybe close corners fights coming out from side of Northwood with those SMGs, but Saints usually like to run all four of those MCWs, obviously the best AR in the game. Let's see what's gonna happen in round one. It's looking like an A push from Northwood University, and they're gonna be able to get a lot of space here. It's only Enslay here on the defense. He's gonna be getting pushed, has to be careful, but Bran is there to cover his back. They're gonna be able to take him out, but the plant will be coming through. Or should be coming through, but KB is able to find a second now. And let's see Saints pushing from all sides. Find three, it's all up to Mock in the 1v4. He's gonna get shot from all angles, and just like that, Saints with relative ease are able to pick Northwood apart and take home the first round. What a clean round. Every angle was covered by a teammate, as you can see. Just three such. Kills for Brandon. Yeah, Brandon also getting three kills. It's just an amazing start to, to, the, to this game, and I'm just excited to see where it's gonna go. I, I don't know what Northwood's gonna do in response to that because they just looked like they got completely outplayed there. They're trying to go fast, trying to go explosive, and it just didn't work out for them. It looked like they had full control of the A side, but they just didn't get the plant down and then went way too deep into the spawn. And Saints are gonna be definitely happy with that defense. But now Saints are gonna be pushing onto that B side, but all members from Northwood are up mid here as well. It's gonna be just fireworks here on this B side. Let's see who decides to play it. How KB's gonna go down. Dak's gonna live on 12 HP. The trade doesn't come through there. It's gonna be Priestly with the SMG. Not something we have seen too often. We're gonna look for those close range battles. Infinity is gonna be able to find one. Priestly finds the trade, but will go down. Down now to 1v3 situation for Enslea. Northwood looking very, very strong on the defense. Enslea not too close to the bomb. Is not able to spot anyone out. Has to find the 1v1s, but Northwood not playing too aggressive. Waiting for a trade to come through. All three members are kind of sitting there. They have the bomb down, which makes this way harder for Enslea. But he's going to be able to push through. Maybe pick up the bomb. He's getting flanked. If he can find a good angle, we'll find one, but we'll get traded out. Northwood University with a very, very clean defensive round as well as they tie it up at 1-1 apiece. Each team has a defensive win now. It's just wondering who's gonna win this first attacking round, who's gonna break the stalemate. Maybe Northwood really has a better plan for this next attacking round. Maybe we'll even get the bomb down this time. It's all up to the Saints to try and play as well as they did last defensive round. Whose defense will crumble first is the name of the game here. And I'm just wondering what they have in store. It's the bomb. I wonder if Northwood's gonna play as aggressive this time. I just, I think they are. I think they feel very confident in their gameplay, so they're just gonna try and run it down one more time, try and take these gunfights as soon as they can. Look at that angle through the wall oh from goodness. Brandon. That's why he got three kills in the last round. There it is. Now it's a 3v4. See dead silence be activated out from K-Top. Try and rotate around with his team. Try and get an off angle. It's like a guarding A with his life. The plant goes down. He's there to meet him there. There's a grenade. So very, very low. And wow, Priestley getting a nice kill. Now it's 2v4. Will Northwood be able to take this one? Almost gets a nice long range kill, but just barely gets out. All four members. In. All four members now gonna push at the same time. Two from spawn, two from mid. As it's, they have 24 seconds left to find the defuse. Have to find the trades here, without a doubt. They're gonna be able to find one trade there. As Policey takes down Mog. TV does go down, but it's gonna be Enslay on the 1v1 here. Does not find the kill. Saints still have to get the defuse going. And the defuse is coming through, and Priest is gonna find the trade on to Infinite Saints. Take a 2-1 lead. A perfectly played retake there, using their number advantage. Uh, to their to their advantage and finding the trade kills when it matters Priestley with his fourth kill of the game finding that one there as the Saints go up 2-1. Got a little dicey there at the end but it managed to work out he was just there in the nick of time here so now they're switching sides it's really just coming down to who will win the attack first and I feel like Saints might have something up their sleeve in this next round with what's just expecting the same old same old from the Saints I think they're gonna try and switch things up here. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. looks, like, looks like they love this B push on the attack. Let's see, Priestley's gonna move up in a great position. He's gonna find one. The trade's gonna come out from Infinite, and K-Top's gonna find the second. Infinite has to be careful as Priestley finds a second. Look at the ring around the Rosie a little bit as Moth's gonna take down Priestley, and now it's gonna be Inslayer yet again in the clutch 1v2 situation. Does have the Dead Silence popped and gets himself in a very, very great position, but now he's gonna go for the reverse flank on these Northwood players. Knows that they're gonna go for this flank 
on the defense as he did last time, but he did not manage to pick up the bomb. So it's going to be very, very hard for him to win this round as both Northwood players are just sitting on top of each other. So they're able to find that trade, but they're going to be at the bottom here. Let's see if Insane can get anything done. The plant will be going down, but he's going to get peaked. Maybe he's going to be able to get out of his life. However, he's going to go for the shots here, but won't be able to find it as Northwood on the defense are going to be able to pick that one up and they're going to make it a 2-2 game. 2-2. That was a very hectic start there, ring around the Rosie indeed. And now, it's just, once again, up to Northwood to try and break this stalemate on attack. I just, maybe this is just a very defensive side of, side of map. map. Yeah, I don't know what the answer is. It's just probably going to come down to who can get the numbers advantage early on and then press that advantage all the way through the end. It seems like Enslay being the last one alive didn't really work out there. If it was 2v2, I think that might have went St. Clair sided, but overall, Northwood playing a very good game. They're all gonna... stacking A here, and there's only one there to meet him. It's just Enslay here. And he's going to be giving that up to move over to B because he doesn't want to take a dangerous challenge there, but St. Need to move over quickly as that's a great position from Insight. Infinite is going to actually take down Dak as that's a huge start for the side of the Saints. Trying to just shoot Insight at that, but Mock's going to pick up KB, however. It's still a 3v3 situation. Infinite in a very dangerous position here with the SMG. It's going to run out, looks up, but is going to be able to stay alive on 40 HP. The chase does come through, but the kill won't be there. The bomb is still not planted. Insight in a very, very great position here, making sure that the plant cannot go down as they just can't go in that crossfire. Infinite sitting there with the SMG can't really win that against the AR at mid range and does go down as the shots come through there Saints have the number advantage but K-Top's gonna be able to pick up inside very very quickly 2v2 situation now let's see how both teams have played this one Mock in a very very dangerous position if he just picks up oh, Brandon will be able to pick that one up now it's 1v2 but Priestley gets the kill and now it's a 1v1 situation 20 seconds left the plant will be going down obviously Priestley doesn't have any idea that that is the case, but he's gonna hear this bomb be planted right here. Let's see if he's able to find the 1v1. The bomb is right there. Nice little headshot from PC. One more shot should do it there. We'll push over the pistol and we'll find the 1v1 clutch as St. Clair take a 3 1 lead. And <laughs> Priestley it has eight kills in five rounds. You have to be kicking yourself if you're north of that early grenade kill. Really shot yourself in the foot. Or it wasn't even a grenade kill, it was just he shot kill. his teammate. Yeah. But uh, good on St. Clair for clutching the round. And now it's looking very even, continuing to look very even. And Priestley, great timing, great jump shot, great gameplay from the Saints. Now it's up to them to try and not get the gun kill on the teammate and try and win the next round on attack. They need to go A, I think. I think, yeah, I think they do go A. Put Just fully up. rush A and maybe they can get the plant down. But uh, overall... At this rate, I think this is going to go over to St. Clair. They started defense, so it just keeps swapping on the defense. They're looking pretty good. They're going to try B once again. It's grenaded out. Looks like they're ready for it. Dak gets the first kill on KB. Yeah, KB is going to be going down early on. This B push just hasn't worked out for the Saints, but they keep forcing it every single round. But the side of Northwood really have this defense on lockdown. They only sent one member to that A site, so I'm surprised the Saints don't try and take advantage of that a little bit. But Mox going to take down previously, and now it's a 4v2 situation for Northwood. Should be very, very hard for the Saints to take this one as they don't have the bomb. And it looks like Northwood are looking to push pretty aggressively, but Brandon is in a great position here. If someone walks through that door, will be going down, but nobody will decide to do that. Very, very slow round from the side of Northwood. They don't really have to push anything. They have to, the Saints have to make a move, and the move they're making is going to be towards A, but Mock is in a bit of a dangerous position. I think he spotted out Inslea there, maybe, and is giving the information to his team as Inslea does go down 1v4 now for Brandon, and he's going to get pushed from all sides. Won't even be able to pick up one. Northwood with a flawless defensive round to make this a 3-3 game. Great defensive round, a little bit of a weird push from the Saints. They tried to go B once again, that just got picked off one by one. Great decision here. Getting a nice jump shot to end the round. Now, once again, it's up to Northwood to try the attack. Really, it's just coming down to who wins the attack round first. And let's see if they can do it this time. Mock looking very, very good on the kill board right now with a two kill streak. This could be very dangerous if he keeps this up. And it does have the bomb. It looks like they're going to do a little bit of a split push right now, but mainly going A, leaving one behind to get any flanks. 
Trophy Systems clearing out the site. They're trying to get control of this A site. Maybe even going B. Nice split push going on. Getting nades, trying to get any advantage they can get. Nice nade from KB. Now there's another gunfight. The Saints are on the prowl here. We're going to pick them off one by one. It's a 3v4 situation. It's going to be a B push coming up from Northwood now with their limited amount of members. And let's see how they decide to play this one. All three members stacked on top of each other. They do have this site for free, it seems like. Let's see if they decide to get the plant out. Infinite it's going to look for a pick early, but won't be able to find. The plant is going down, I believe, for the side of Northwood. And Saints are going to have to react to this. All three members, you can see on the bottom right side of the map there, are going to be pushing up. Let's see who can win that. Infinite is going to find a pick on KB. The trade won't come out somehow, and he's going to be able to make it out with his life, but it will be taken out by previously beautiful shots. There's Dak. is in a very, very dangerous position here. Do the Saints know that he could be behind here? The trigger discipline has to be perfect. He's able to find one. Won't find the second. As Priestley finds a turn, he does get taken out by Brandon. Well, <laughs> found K-Top and it's going to be yet another clutch for the Saints as they're going to be taking a 4-3 lead in this game too. What another amazing defensive clutch from St. Clair. They need to keep winning these. At this rate, they will take this game too if they keep clutching these defensive rounds like this. But honestly, it's looking more and more like Northwood is just getting better and better each round. It's going to be a very, very tough uh, attacking round for the Saints once again. Maybe they're even just gonna give this one up, try and full send it. If it works, it works. If it doesn't work, well, they'll just win the next defensive round. They are gonna win at this rhythm right now, but I think Northwood knows that they need to get an attacking win. Yeah, and it's gonna be another deep push from the Saints. They really do not want to attack that A side, and maybe they've done their scouting. Maybe they know Northwood just retakes that A side way too well. Have to find some early picks here on this. Fight. They won't go as quickly as every other round, as you could see. Enslay and KB are on a bit of a wider angle there on the side, as it's going to be infinite looking at them. But no picks coming out yet, a minute left in the round. They're just waiting for someone to make a mistake, and there's a mistake we're talking about. KB Bob going to walk up way too far and will go down early, but Dak is going to find the trade. KB takes him out, as he's going to be able to get it out with his life, and that is a huge start for the side of the Saints. And now they have a 3v2, as I say, that a 3v1. KB finally turning it up in this eighth round, and it's a mock in the 1v2 situation. He does get spotted out. The plant will go down for the Saints, and Mock shouldn't be able to bring this one back. The Saints just have to play together and find the trade. It's going to be a very tough game for Mach here. He almost finds nice. one kill, but he's going to get kill. taken down with laser precision. And that's finally KB turning up. I don't want to say anything, you know, he was having a bit of a, a, bit of a rough uh, game so far, but able to find three kills and putting the team on his back when it matters most. Saints put them save, uh, themselves on map point as they're up 5-3 and they're on the defensive side. And that's where you want to be, starting defense match point. If you just play like, if you, they just play like they have been, they're looking to take this first map in quite a large margin. You know, taking a three-point lead is nothing to sneeze at when it's been so back and forth. Without a doubt, and let's see. It's going to be Northwood going for a B for Saints. Going to have a couple members there to defend early. KB going to throw those nades, and yet again with the grenade, able to find the first butt onto Mock. Great start for them. He's going to be able to find a second. The trade comes out. Priestley does go down. They're going to keep pushing KB one by one. Terrible idea if you're a Northwood fan, but terrible idea from KB there to go for the SMG, and he will be going down. 2v2 situation now for the Saints. The plant won't be going down just yet, so no panic needed. Brandon's going to spot one out there, but can't really do anything with that angle, as it's going to be both members of Northwood just kind of chilling around this B side and waiting for someone from the Saints to make a mistake, but Saints are playing together, and Slayer is going to have a huge challenge here. Beautiful positioning from him, and we able to pick up one. Now with 2v1 situation, they have the bomb down, and they know where he is. They're going to be able to find it, and St. Clair Saints able to take the map 6-3 off the back of some crucial picks there early on those defensive runs. What an amazing game from St. Clair, winning so many clutch rounds, and look at this position positioning on this last kill. Waiting for the high, gets the low kill, and then turns around, gets the final round ending kill. And look at that, Priestley getting a nice 11-5 score line. KB getting a lot of kills in the last little stretch. All of them did amazing jobs overall. 
What an amazing match of S and D. Couldn't get any closer until the end there. Until the end, yeah. The Saints just kind of ran away with it. They got that attacking round and just carried it all the way to the end. Yeah, I mean, it was back and forth, and I think we're going to have a very back and forth series. St. Clair, who are usually stronger in the respawn type game modes, really played really, really good in that S&D and turned it up a notch towards the later parts of that game. Preci obviously has to get a lot of praise there, dropping 11 kills and putting the team on his back for sure there. As Saints are going to be very, very happy with the performance and now they're tied up 1-1 against Northwood. Yeah, 1-1. One, one. According to my predictions, this is yeah. going all the way. I think St. Clair is going to take the next map. Northwood is going to get take game four. We'll be up with a game five. That's my that's my foresight. That's my <laughs> prediction. That's the script I have written out for myself. But we'll see if St. Clair wants to follow it. Maybe they'll even just close it up in the next two games. And from the sound of things, I think we're going to be getting on with Overwatch pretty, pretty soon. It's going to be our Saints a varsity team taking on Drexel University. Our Saints are, as we mentioned before, 3-0 and so far. Drexel having a bit of a rough start to the season, 0-3. So Drexel going to be looking for the huge upset here, but Saints looking so, so strong early season should be looking to close the job out. Yeah, on paper, Drexel's not looking to have a good time, but you know, the new update, Maybe a couple FFs here and there. You never know. When we were looking at the rankings, they're all top 500 Grandmaster up to par with the Saints rankings there. So you never know. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the game that's really going to give St. Clair a hard time. They're 4-0 and or 3-0 and right now, looking to make it 4-0. and But here we are on Antarctica, I believe. First yep. capture point. Let's see it. Yeah, and it's going to be a uh, dive comp coming up from St. Clair with Noxious on the Tracer, Emeryn on the Sojourn, Tread's going to be on Junk Queen, and then Razor and Soaks on the backline with Moira and Lucio. But Drex on the other side are playing that Zenyatta Lucio comp that I spoke about. They're going to have the Sombra, Tracer, and the Wrecking Ball. So Drexel's University's comp is way harder to pull off. And let's see if the Saints can really capitalize off the mistakes here. And that's the main way to win. And a quick mistake here coming out from the Wrecking Ball. Jeff Goldblum going to go down very, very quickly. And that should be a free point capture for the side of the Saints. Noxious in the Tracer 1v1 here on the point. Both Tracer forced to recall out early. Emmer's going to pick up the... Zignano there on the backside, and that was a very, very clean and easy first fight for the side of St. Clair. Yeah, a very clean fight, a little bit bad positioning from the tank there on the side of Drexel, and nice pickup of the kill of Razor. Best control goes down there. Now, and we're trying to find one, finds one, looking to find another. That Wrecking Ball is very low once again. The burn damage is so much there. Now, go back once again, Emeryn. Find some kills, doesn't find anything. Tracer. Both teams picking Tracer is an interesting pickup. You know, with the health changes, Tracer is just that much harder to take down. Yeah, without a doubt. And, you know, a lot, a lot of the characters are hard to take down. Soaks living there on one HP will be able to stay alive, but will go down to Jeff Goldblum. A great start to the fight for Drexel University. Let's see how the cleanup is going to come through. They are able to find Emmerin as well, and this is kind of when your team falls apart when they're playing dive and they just find a couple early picks. It just becomes so, so hard to play. Tread trying to stay alive on this jump queen as long as possible, but beautiful pulse bomb comes through there. Ship Goldblum finds another kill here. Soaks gonna be on the Lucio, just accepting his fate. I think there's Noxious goes down as well, and I think that might have been a bit of a disconnect. You can see them calling for the pause, but uh, never mind. We don't need a pause. We're right <laughs> back in there. Soaks' his mouse might have disconnected or something. You never know. Technical difficulties, but. Drexel University so far not playing too poorly, finding a couple of very, very nice picks on this uh, hard to play dive comp. Yeah, looking pretty good. We have the overclock on Emmer and ready to roll. But it looks like Saints are just going to try and take this one back with a little. Uh, Wow, that halt was crazy, and now he's looking for the kill. Wow, Jeff Goldblum escapes with one HP. Wrecking Ball is just so hard to take down. Nice recall from Noxious. He's gonna go in, find a pick, looking for another. There it is, the Sombra goes down to Emmerin. And right now, that is going to look to be the point. Overwatch, looking back over at Northwood. Looks like it's a control map. Wow. They have 15 seconds left, and it's going to be Northwood who are going to be forced to push in here. 14 seconds left to get the final take here. It's going to be a one-for-one -one trade, but if Saints can find some kills here towards the end, we'll be able to win out the run. Inside is going to find one. Mox going to find the trade there. KB has to stay alive here, but I don't think he'll have any way of contesting this one. That's going to be point B secured for Sam Northwood. They're going to have one more minute to capture that A-side, but on this map, getting that A-side is very, very hard. Mock 
with a good start there will pick up for easily and it's gonna be brandon picking up the huge pick on doctors he somehow has made his way into the spawn of northwood as infinite is gonna go down as well and say does fall but brandon being alive in the spawn of northwood is buying st clair so much time to just respawn and get to the right place at the right time infinite is gonna pick up k top yet again with a team kill brandon has to find this kill but dak with a beautiful challenger will pick him up infinite is gonna find priesty but kb will find a pick onto mock and one for one trades are very good for st clair's to have the way closer spawn in slayer in a very good spot here on the side. I don't think they have any idea that he could be sitting in this corner. A couple picks come out from Northwood. If Insight can find just one here, it would be massive. He does find just one, but still three members of his team fall. St. Clair need to find a quick regroup and get back onto this A side as one tick will be taken very, very soon. If Saints need to just find one or two more kills here, would be good for them. Cake top with another team kill. And KB picks him up. It's going to be just off to Mock here, who will be going down, and that should be the round for the Saints as KB finds infinite, and I'm not sure this have Northwood can get any more members a couple couple very very interesting team kills there coming out from K-Top <laughs> that could have been the reason that Northwood won't be able to pick up their first round here. Man, these team kills are very uncharacteristic of a highly ranked team like Northwood but we've seen multiple come out over the span of the last few games so gotta maybe try a little bit be a little bit more careful of your positioning. Saints so clean with their positioning that's why they should take this first round but now they're gonna be on attack it's gonna be very tough this map is very hard to cap so we'll see if they'll be able to do it here going back to overwatch here we are on the second point looks like the saints won the last point now they're gonna take this one as well but it looks a very tradey game coming out here both dps is trading out one after another point is gonna go over to maybe st Clair. they're taking out the wrecking ball and that's the point for them so taking down Jeff Goldblum and Noxious taking out the Sombra. Yeah, Saints playing that queen calm so, so well. Just Drexel not able to find too much. They're able to win a fight here and there, but just hard to win fights consistently against the Saints here. On the other side of the map, I just saw a double kill with a grenade as the kill feeds all blue. Northwood doing a great job on this defense. Saints did get two ticks on that A site, but that grenade from I believe it was K-Top was just massive. As now the Saints are gonna rotate over towards the B side. They're gonna try and get a couple picks here. As KB is gonna find one. Priestly does take out his team and Infant Dak find a couple picks. That is the push of St. Clair shut down instantly. And the picks will keep coming through. And Slayer in a very dangerous spot does go down. Staggers himself a little bit now. And the Saints will have to wait to regroup and push up. But Priestly's gonna go down. Brandon's finally gonna pick up a kill there with the car explosion. Maybe could break them out of that spawn. Oh, they only need one more tick on that A side, but they're kind of stuck in no man's land right now, just sitting in their spawn. Yeah, they're covered from all angles. Northwood really hasn't boxed in here. They have guns aiming at every single angle they want to push. Look at that, not getting one, but that's going to be the opening they need. Dude, Three kills dude. coming up from St. Clair. Hey, look at A. Wow, look at A. They're going for it. They're going to try and play for the extra time right now. And it looks like they're going to get it. Northwood know, going for the holy hand grenade once again, trying to clear that side out, but he goes down. And wow, another three kills coming up from St. Clair. That's going to be a nice life Dude. lead taken. And that is huge. A is kind of the harder side to take here. So let's see how they decide to get onto this B side. And is going to find early pick. KB is able to maneuver his way out and stay alive there. As the cover from Brandon is there. That's a couple picks for St. Clair. It's only Infinity here on the side. And he will be going down. Mock it goes down as well. As it should be the capture here coming out from the Saints. They should get at least a take here. As the respawn's coming through from Northwood. KB's going to find one. Dak finds Priestley. Brandon with another car kill onto Infinite there. As that's one tick capture for St. Clair. It's going to be Northwood who have to make their way onto the site. Second tick coming through through for the Saints. One more take available, but wow. Dak on the flank is able to find a couple kills. Enslayer is going to find a trade. Priestley finds a trade as well. The point is still ticking. Priestley and Enslayer doing God's work on the side, but Infinite <laughs> with the 1v2 clutch finds the last two kills as it's so, so close to being captured. But Saints still have the pressure. They only need one more take as they're looking to pick North for the part. Yeah, they're looking to take this one, but it's going to be very hard with Infinite and the rest of the team backing them up there. Just in every so sneaky position there. KB finds one trying to nade it out with the trophy systems there to cover him. Okay. Brandon finding another. That might be the cue for Saints to push, but Dak takes out one, and KB takes him out right again. again. It's just Infinite here holding it up. He finds a kill up top, and now this should be it. The time is ticking. Someone needs to touch on the side of Northwood, but it's not going to be close enough, and that's St. Clair taking a 2-1. 
2-0 lead in this control game. That's a great round from St. Clair. They were just stuck in their spawn, <laughs> but a couple crucial picks came out there, and they were able to cap that A-side, give them so much time for that B-side, and some beautiful team fighting from them. Yes, some clutch plays came out from Northwood, but you have to take into account of those plays don't happen. St. Clair are just breezing through this map, so a great map from them so far. KB, after a bit of a rough start to the series, 19-7 and seven on this map, the only one positive on this team, but his team's up 2-0, so they're definitely not complaining about that performance. Yeah, you just need one person here, it looks like, to hold things down, and that's all you need. Now Dak can take out one, it looks like they're gonna take a page of the Saints playbook and go for A first, as, as that is the harder site to take. They're looking to take one down, they already got one up and starting to cap, Dak finds another, he's gonna move on through. Now, Reese's on the prowl, gonna rotate over to B, maybe he thinks they're switching it up, but no, they're just gonna full send A. Now Brandon trying to find one, Reese finds one through the wall. Just trying to clear out this A site and Enzo finds another. It's just the guy sitting on A. They managed to flush him out and take him out. And now A, they got one tick. That's not going to be enough. Looks like they're going to transition over to B and they have a huge push coming over to B. All four of them are running down this alleyway. Mock takes out two. He's just cruising on through. KB finds one, looking to find another, but no. Infinite takes it now. It's in Northwood's hands. Just High ground here, hoping to find somebody. They're losing B, they find one tick, or they're about to find one tick, as they are doing an amazing job of capping this. He finds one through the wall, keep on moving on. One tick for B as well. Nice dodge from Priestley there. But the pick from Mock will come out of the inside on this time. It is taking nobody from St. Clair gonna do anything. Second take comes through, and Saints are playing this one slow. Priestley's gonna find one through the wall, but can they get on the side? Priestley's gonna try and jump in there, but the point B will be secured, and Saints kind of just giving that one up for free. It's gonna be Northwood who now have two minutes to capture the A side. Infinite is gonna find KB here who's stuck in a rough spot, and it's Dak already on that A side, capturing it up all by himself. Will almost be able to pick up that second take, but a Huge kill there from Priest. He will take him down. KB is going to take down Infinite Saints. Finally have some time to regroup. Still need to hold on for a minute 35, but Northwood does have a tick. Every single kill matters from here on now. Not too many team lives remaining, but I don't think that's going to be the reason for this round's end. Let's see how both teams try to play this back in a beautiful position here, but won't be able to find the kill. Throws a nade over, but Mock and Kaba finding a couple. Infinite's going to find the third, and that should be the opening for the side of Northwood to take this round. Brandon on his lonesome will go down, and that should about wrap it up. Priest is going to be able to find one, but does get traded out, and I don't know if anyone from the Saints can make their way over here. That's such a great crossfire here. KB's going to be able to find a second, but in K-Top will find a couple, and that is going to be all she wrote for this one. Saints won't be able to get anywhere near the side as Northwood on the attack are going to be make, able to bring this one back a little bit and make it a 1-2 game. 1-2. It's looking very dicey for Saints after that amazing attacking round from Northwood. It looks like they really figured out what the Saints did to take that attacking round from the starting A. It's just an amazing uh, strat. Because even if you don't capture, getting a tick just makes it so easier to cap. So much easier to cap. And that high point from Dak near at the end just made it impossible for the Saints to get out of their spawn. Yeah, I mean, it was a good try from the Saints, but Northwood really turned it up a notch in that round. But Saints have to just have a short memory and have to win this one quickly. They have to take this round and just end it here, not let it go to the But Mox gonna find the entry pick and Slayer's gonna be able to pick one of Dak, picks up and Slayer and KB's gonna find that trade as well. Saints maybe looking to make their way over to that A site, but won't be able to do so. Infinite is gonna go down to Brandon. The Saints are gonna get onto that B site very, very early and the time is ticking. But Brandon is doing God's work in the back line of Northwood. Uh, KB should be able to find the skill and he does. You can see Saints really turning it up a notch here in this th fourth round as the trades are coming through left and right. It's gonna be Mock on the flank. Look at that turn from Priestley. Gets it there and that's gonna be the B site controlled by Saints fully. Brandon does fall, but look at Northwood. All their members are over on that A side and they might be considering this B side very, very early. Yeah, they are just looking to give it up as that's point B for the Saints in record time. Now the real battle, battle begins as they need to make their way over to A. Now oh, Infinite wow. finding a double kill. It's going to be a huge wrench in their plans. It's going to be 
box near their spawn right now. Need to find any opening, any opening that they can. KB manages to get out just barely. Dak going for the kill. He knows he's low, but it gets taken out. Entelia with a nice double kill with the car and the gun. K-Top finding one long range. They love playing these rooftops. And now Mach finds one as well through the wall. Northwood just playing amazing positions right now with the KB. That might be the opening they need. Dak yep. is pushing up, holding this hallway. He knows one probably might push through here, but they don't. Looks like they're playing outside. Mach finds one. And so that finds the trade right back. Now look at this sight line from Brandon. He's playing the long range. He's waiting for it to be clear. Throws a nade and now is making the cross through man no man's land and is trying to get to this A site. Yeah, Saints really need to push as a team. They've been finding kills left and right, but they're just falling first, and if you lose just one person on your attack, it kind of halts your push immediately. Mock in a very, very dangerous position. Priestly and KB, though, gonna find the entry picks, and that's what the Saints need, but Brandon will be falling in the spawn. It's, they're gonna have to do without him here, as Infinite is gonna look for the shots, won't find anything, and will be going down. Saints are on that A site, but KB will be falling down. They might get a tick here, but they will, don't have all of their members present here. Priestly will not be able to find that kill, and Mock takes down Enslaya on the site. They do get one tick, but a walk cost. A lot of time gonna be burnt off the clock here, Saints. Really going to have to turn it up a notch to take this fourth round. Yeah, it's going to be very tough from here as Infinite finds two. Priestly going to find one right back, but Dak, Dak is going to find another. It's not looking good for the Saints. It's getting very close on time. Finds the corner, finds the corner kill. There it is. Now he's going to be low, trying to move push. in. Dak finding another kill. They just can't get onto this point. As look at the positioning from Northwood. They have every angle covered, every single push that the Saints can do. They're going to send two down this alleyway. He's he on him? the ground. They seize him at the last second, finds the kill. They need to push on, and they need to push on quick as one positions themselves on the site. They're defending. They have a trophy system up. Seven seconds. Five seconds left. He's going to push in. And so it finds oh, one, nice. finds two, but it doesn't work as Dak closes it out, oh, and that's going to be a double KB. kill. Oh, oh my goodness. KB's going off. This might be what they need to win this here. Oh, I don't know if they have the members though. Everyone's running through and KB with few two massive picks there. The second tick will come through in just a second as the reinforcements are there. The whole game is on the line here. That's gonna find Enslay at kickoff. Gonna find Brandon as the Saints are falling apart. But KB doing God's works, able to find a couple, but it's gonna be Northwood in the end, able to clutch it out, and they're gonna be able to push this to a decisive round five. What a round that came down to the last second. KB almost clutching it up, but Northwood's position was just that much better. They had every angle covered, they had every push squashed, but an amazing start from the Saints. They took B very quickly. It was just that A site is just so tricky to get. And let's see who has what side. Both teams winning two rounds in a row, but Northwood for sure have the momentum. This is where we're going to see why Saints belong to be up there with one of the best teams. Really going to have to turn it up to another gear here. KB, 33 kills. Amazing performance so far, but Northwood on the other side all having pretty good performances for themselves Nobody really having a bad game from either side as let's see how this is gonna go down Saints are on the defense But have to be careful as they're gonna go down very very early Dak and Infinite gonna find a couple of picks very very early on and the eighth control is already there for Northwood Let's see if Saints can maybe play a retake here. Uh, that's one tick already going over to the side of Northwood Infinite's gonna find one Mox gonna find one and Saints are just falling apart this should be all of a side going over to Northwood within seconds and Saints haven't even found a kill this round They're gonna go for maybe one final desperate defensive attempt and so it's gonna be able to find one But the point is already secured is it's a little bit too late as the side of Northwood are making their way onto this B side very, very early mock will find a huge kill there as Infinite's gonna find one onto KB But Saints are still there on the defense But Infinite's gonna find another and now Northwood are just capturing B side as Priest is gonna be able to find one But it's gonna take a miracle for them to come back into this round is that gonna find one the trade comes there for Inslayer as Breezy finds one more and this should give them a little bit of control one take will not go through even as all the trades are coming out but Saints finally are able to get a foothold in this round and calm down for just a little bit but the stop <laughs> push never stops from Northwood they're just finding picks left and right but no takes onto this B side is absolutely absolutely crucial for Saints. Yeah, it's Saints. not gonna stop this train never stops as they just want to take this beat they have the lives to spare they're just gonna keep running it down okay we're gonna find one now things slow down to a crawl here as they're trying to be sneaky they don't want to fall too early and want them to make their custom nice. nose because he finds one up top looking for the two down low doesn't find it but it's now it looks like one's going to go in 
there. Finds one, and Slayer's gonna look up top. There he is, he doesn't know, he's gonna try and just defend the site, and they clear it, they didn't get the one tick on B, nice. and that's gonna be a few trades coming out, but that's gonna be Saints coming out on top, clearing B site. Now they're just gonna make one giant stalwart defense here on B. One minute left, but that's gonna be Dak finding one up top. Priest is gonna get a trade oh right back, but Dak is just going off, getting a nice two kills. That could be the point opened up for them. Priestley's holding it far back, watching his back, playing the off angle. Oh, he won't almost get taken out there by Infinite. Yeah, he won't be able to pick it up there, but Dak is in such a pri pri prime position. Mark will find one, but Brandon Priestley finding a couple, and if Priestley is able to survive here for just a little bit longer, would be massive for the side of the Saints. If he can pick up the skill, would be insane. Ketam's gonna pick it up on one HP, but nobody is there from his team to follow up, as Saints find a couple early picks, and they're gonna be able to regroup here. And so in a great position, he's gonna be able to find one. Brandon picks up the second, as Saints are still holding on for dear life here. Brandon finds another one, and Infinite's the only one alive here for his team. Mark's gonna go down again, and it's Inslea in the spawn of Northwood just going crazy. Will finally fall down, but now only 25 seconds for the side of Northwood. Priestley's gonna pick up a couple kills here as Saints are clutching up here. Infinite's gonna take down Priestley, but 18 seconds left. Northwood are gonna have to start sprinting towards the side. Mox gonna be able to pick up a second. The trophies are coming down from Northwood as this is the final push here. Last team fight from both teams. Can the picks come through from either side? One tick will be coming through just there. KB looking for the shots early. Then it's a couple picks coming up from the Saints here. They should be able to make their way onto the site here and clean up. 14 seconds left. The team ace will come through. 12 seconds left and time's ticking. Maybe one final push for Northwood. He's six lives left as they're going to look to make their way onto the site. But the Saints should be able to hold this one down. Dak falls down. Oh, Enslaire falls boy. down. And with a couple seconds left, that's another team wipe for the Saints as they take a 2-1 advantage in the series. What a clutch from St. Clair College. Losing A site immediately, but holding that easy B site all the way to the end. Winning this next game now they're on series point if i'm not mistaken yeah. only one more game to go northwood having their work cut out for them here kb 38 and 22 Priestley, brandon and slayer just clutching up there towards the end it looked so so rough in that final round we really thought northwood <laughs> were pulling for that reverse sweep wow. look at our boys they're feeling good as they clutch that one up and now they have all the momentum on the four seed but speaking of momentum our overwatch varsity team have a little bit of momentum to work with as well they were able to give up the first point but stop them in the streets phase of this uh, point and a tread now on the Ramatra into this Reinhardt will be able to make a lot of space. Demir does fall down early to his Gambler and it's going to be Drexel with a beautiful start to this defense as they just run over the Saint Soaks. Is able to <laughs> pick up its Gambler in the back line and maybe might look for the spawn kill there. This is a dangerous push from Beefster. Wow. He will find that kill and Soaks falls as well. Beautiful defense here from Drexel University. It's amazing defense. They just ignored the Ramatra, went for the back line and it worked out as Ramatra was not able to get there in time. Now Jeff Goldblum holding it down, sending out a fire strike, doesn't find much. Peppering that one down, guys. Railgun shot charge. Seeing Noxious on the May. Trying to find some angles, probably trying to look for a nasty wall. They got him pushed back into this room and they're gonna start the cap on the point. Yeah, the cap will come through. One tick is there. 30 HP on this Cassidy. The ice block comes up very, very early from Nox. Just has to be careful here. One more swing will go down, but is able to stay alive, and that should be a lot of space for the Saints here. The window does come through from the Baptiste, but the Reinhardt is on one HP. Tread will look to just stay alive here, but that's a beautiful wall there coming out, and he won't be able to get any healing. He will go down, and this should be another hold for Drexel. Pest Control is going to pick up Soaks. Jeff Goldblum is going to find a second, and it's just a cleanup crew now for the side of Drexel for really turning it up a notch and able to halt the St. Clair roster. Yeah, that was an amazing defense here. They did manage to get one tick, but they managed to just recover it in time with that amazing wall taking down the tank was key. Now, so it's bring them up there. Dread just trying to move forward, make some space here. Gonna take a reload. Just trying to bait them out, get them to push up, but they know they can just play far back, play in that room, and then that is safe enough for them to retake. They're playing up top, trying to find an angle. Almost gets taken down though, gets very, very low. Nox just trying to take some room here. They can reload and go in. They're getting the cap, they just need one more tick, but Contest comes out from Drexel. There's the sound barrier, there's the earth shatter, there's the high noon as well. They're using all the uh, <laughs> ultimates here, and there's the blizzard from St. Clair. Now they're just trying to pick them all off one by one. There it is, there's the May going down. Now it's just the <laughs> 
the Cassidy left and he gets taken down. A great little push there from St. Clair. They just were able to use their ultimates that tiny bit better. And they still have a couple of huge ultimates to maybe finish off the map here. But they're gonna have to be careful for it. it's Gambler's Mayo. They can't just remodel all at speed and just run through them there. So let's see how the Saints decide to play stack. They still have three minutes, plenty of time to work with. They only have to rush it too much. And I think in this in, the, in these stages, having the Ramacho ult advantage is so, so big, but the May ult is going to be the big thing to look at in this next fight. It looks like Jeff Goldblum swapped onto the Ramacho here, and they just need to make it past one or two chokes, and that is the game for them. So not too much ground to cover, oh, but that's a big wall to cancel out the window here. Oh, he's going to hold this tight corner, try and play around his team, play for the heals. It's going to be very, very close here, and there's the May ult, and that is Ramacho getting shredded down to nothing, but his team keeps him up with the Emortality. Field, but pest control gets a kill anyways. Beef stir fry gonna go in, get a kill as well. That's gonna be the push from St. Clair stopped. Yeah, and as expected, the May ult onto the Ramatra is just simply too good. And but now it means that St. Clair can really go quickly here with that Ramatra ult. No uh Lucio ultimate here for Drexel, so let's see how the Saints decide to play this one. Early ice block used by Noxious, but they should be able to just speed boost from Ultimate and run through Drexel. Just run at that Cassie really would be the best play, and I think that's what they're looking for here. Some punches will come out here. Nice little wall there to cancel out that Cassidy ult, as now the push from Tread will come out. He's just making so much space for his team here as they get around this corner, which is huge. 90% on Emrin's ultimate. The Saints are looking at five ultimates on this final fight, and this should be all she Tread has to be very, very careful. Wound have a huge May wall there from Noxious. The ultimate will come out from Tread. He is just swinging away here. They have the beat drop. They have the May ult. They have everything they need. And Drexel can't even walk near the point. St. Clair Saints going to take a 2 0 lead here and going to look for the sweep over Drexel University. Yep, they held that annihilation till the very end. And that May wall really won them the game there. And Tread getting the play as Sigma. I believe that was earlier in the match. Here we are. We get to see it anyways. Tread finds one. Looking to find a Another, there it is, he's going in, a nice rock, and there's the kills, they all fall down, that was an amazing defensive push from them. And I mean, that was some exciting games <laughs> we just saw, the, let's go back to the Call of Duty game. Yeah, that was, that one's that was, that was very crazy close. crazy one, that was, that was very, very close, two of the top teams in collegiate uh, Call of Duty just fighting for it all, kind of a Royal Rumble there towards the end, every man for themselves, but Saints were able to come out on top, and now they have a hold a 2-1 advantage over Northwood University. Yeah, they have a major advantage right now. It's going to be very tough, though, going forward. Yes, each game is just so close for each team. It seems like St. Clair on that S&D played, played it very, very well, but I feel like only because of a few misplays from Northwood, you know. There's a few team kills on both of those games back yeah. and forth. So if Northwood just plays a perfect game going forward, I think it's going to be very, very tough for the Saints. Absolutely. But our Saints are capable of playing that perfect game themselves. On You know, when it mattered most, really, in that last control map, yeah. <laughs> they, they pulled it out of the mud, even after losing that side very early on. Good job by our Saints, but they can't get to themselves. There's a reason why Northwood is fourth in the power rankings. They are one of the stronger teams and should not be taken lightly. I think our Saints are fully going to be locked in and going to look to take the win home. And then we can hop over to Overwatch as well. You know, Saints 2-0. We didn't get to see too much of the game, but as expected, they are the better seeded team, better record, better history as... As, uh, they're wow, gonna we're already be, in it. They would take a win and, yeah, we're back in it. Let's see how this game goes. Looks like the hard point. We're back to hard point here. And right now, Infinite's going to take the kill. Northwood is in control right now. But the Saints do have the upper hand on the points. Infinite's going to find one. K-Top going to find another. And now they're going to try and rack up the points, try and equalize these points here. And Slayer holding this corner very, very carefully. Trying to take the kill, but Thor saves him just at the last second, and Mach gonna find the final kill there. It's gonna come out, the stun's gonna come out. Now, a lot of trades coming up for both teams. Right now, St. Clair is in the lead, but that's gonna get quickly overtaken by Northwood as they have controlled the next hard point. Infinite finds one. Now, the Saints are just a little bit in this as they get picked off one by one, and Priestley finds a nice pick. Gonna try and nade out this point, but it gets taken out by a trophy system. Right now, Northwood, while Saints had the early lead, they're taking it away. 
Yeah, Hussein's not able to find too much as Mock is going to be on a five kill spree here, getting off to a bit of a hot start as Northwood, yet again, early on in that hard point, are going to be racking up those points. Rath is going to find one, and Priest is going to pick up a second. Some nice picks from the Saints here. If they can find KT, oh, they will. And they're going to get some uh, scrap time here as the spawns for Northwood are not looking too good. KB has to be careful not to fall here, but it's going to be Dak and Mach 2v3 just wiping the rest of the Saints there. As now it's going to be Northwood who are looking to get the good spawns. It's going to be all on Priestley to find some kills here in the back line. Has to stay alive here as the hard point is going to be right in front of him. But to give his position away. It's gonna be a nice couple of picks coming up from the Saints and the hard point is gonna be in their control. KB will fall, but the trade comes out from both sides. Hard point controlled by the side of North, whereas they're finding just that one extra kill and they're gonna to start to stack up their time pretty well here. Slip has one look for another, doesn't quite find it. Try and move in there. He finds a nice angle, does, just does, doesn't, he finds the kill. Very lengthy kill though. And right now Priestley gonna find one, and Slip gonna find another, trying to clear out the side. KB finds one more. Team killed, and now they have control, looking to rack up some points, try and equalize the scoreline a little bit. He's gonna move in, Infinite moving very quickly with the rest of his team. Throw the nades, they're playing for next hard point for sure. Trying to find any kills in the camp, but KB and Ensley have punished the over push now. Dodge in, slide in, finds one more, finds four another. Four. That's amazing place from Brandon, and now scoreline isn't looking too bad. Yeah, now they're gonna have great control of this next hard point. They have the good spawns as they found the four for O on that little skirmish there. And they have to be very, very careful. Does get stunned down, has to be careful next to the car to not get blown up. Brandon picking up the SMG now, He's gonna be in the back lines, finds one. The trades are coming through as it's gonna be all up to. K team up here, but you won't be able to find much as Saints are gonna be able to get a lot of points here. Infinite in a very, very dangerous position on the flank here. KP just has to keep watching that. Now he's gonna try and make his way over to that side. Priestley finds one inside, finds one, and Saints are finding the picks. They're bringing themselves back into this game. That's three picks coming up for them. All four yet again, eight kills in a row for the side of the Saints. As Priestley's pushing all the way into the spawn, won't be able to find it, but Saints will be taking the lead for the first time. As KP's gonna find one, finds the second there up mid, gonna look for the third. Here around the corner, we'll be able to find it. The madman's going crazy right now. 15 and 5, absolute domination on that side of the field. Brandon's gonna be able to pick one up alongside KB there, who's now on the five. Kale Spear and the Saints are able to take a bit of a big lead here. Brandon's gonna find one more, and it's the kill speed is just wow. all green. Saints are on absolute fire, just can't seem to do a thing wrong. As finally, Enslea does fall, but Saints are racking up this time on the hard point. Mock and Infinite oh. gonna find a couple extra picks as finally the side of Northwood have found a couple kills and will give themselves control back of the hard point. Saints were in a flow state there for quite a while looking to find that right back with Mock and the rest of Northwood looking to take this one all the way here uh, but there's two kills from St. Clair Infinite gonna find one they trade that one out from the kills there's a concussion but Infinite can find the final kill there they're just throwing nades at this trophy system it's not quite working right now the kill feed's looking very blue for Northwood Mock gonna find another and that it's just looking very, very good for them right now. Saints yeah. unable to find a really way in here. K-Top has been sitting on this side for the past 30 seconds, just sitting behind that pillar and letting his teammates cover him, but now has to do a bit of killing himself. Finds a couple as Mog finds a third. That's gonna be Northwood bringing this game back to within one point. They will pick up the hard point in that middle. The melee comes through there from inside. is not able to find the kill onto Mog. But now, Northwood have really turned it around as they've gone on a bit of a street themselves. KB is going to find one, but should get traded out here. No, you won't. We'll absolutely turn on to Mog there as Infinite does find one onto Priestley. Dak picks one up as well. Will fall down. It's all up to Infinite, who's all in this lonesome on this side. But nobody from the Saints is here to capitalize. Brandon will fall down as well as this Northwood now really turning this one around, going on a huge amount of killing sprees now as Saints are dropping like flies and is gonna be able to find one back to finally stop the bleeding as Brandon finds a second does get taken down but they need to get onto the point Priest is gonna find one in the middle as Saints should be able to get the rest of the scrap time by Northwood really pulling ahead there on that hard point. Yeah, they're just running away with it right now. Gonna find one, gonna throw a grenade, try and check that one out. Oh, look at Priestley get a nice double there. That's gonna turn the tides, and now Infinite gonna get they another kill. kill. They need to kill Infinite here. There they are, he gets a nice trade. That's good for them. Not too far behind the score, but Northwood does have the lead by a little bit right now. Saints gonna take that over though, as they have initial control of the hard point. Gonna try and stop this push, but two kills come out from Northwood. That's gonna be devastating for the Saints. 
they're holding the point, but just barely even trying to give it up to play for kills. They find one, there's a trade for another. Maybe finds two, two there, and that's gonna swing it. Third, third, three! Holy moly! <laughs> A three multi kill right out of the bat, and now Saints are going to take into the lead here. K Top finding one, but that's not going to be enough to deter the Saints. Now they're equalizing the score, and they take the lead. They're going to have to give the hard point temporarily to try and play for kills right now. There's a trade, there's two, nice. and now, now Ma going to find one more. Oh. Ooh, two more as they are pushing into this site. And so they're finding one more. They have a few more points nice. trying to get the scrap time on this point. KB takes one more. It is five more seconds. They're just barely in the lead, but it looks like oh, Northwood's nice. playing for next and Priestley finding another. It looks like the Saints are getting the momentum back. They're definitely getting their momentum back. They're able to take the lead yet again, but it's going to be Northwood with control of the hard point. But Saints are on absolute fire. Priestley's going to find one, finds the second. They're on the side, and now they're going to take a big lead here on this hard point. Infant does find one, but does fall down, and the points are still ticking up for the Saints. And so they have to be careful. KB is going to find one. Does the trade come out there from Dak? He's able to pick up Inslayer, but KB is in the the spawn of Northwood looking to find some damage. Brand's gonna find one, does get traded out. Northwood do have control of the hard point. Priest is gonna push in here. Will be able to stay alive for just an extra second, but will fall down. Let's see if the Saints are able to play the retake here. Insay is gonna find one, almost finding the second as all the kills are going to, towards the side of Northwood here. Brand's gonna find one, but is not able to find the second. And this scrap time should be falling over to the side of Northwood. St. Clair are definitely gonna set up for the next hard point. Scrap time is gonna be enough for them to equalize it. They give it up though, they're sure. Never mind. <laughs> they just stepped off for a second. Now, they can just be ever so slight in the lead, so the Saints are going to have to play for this next hard point to try and take this lead as the lead is becoming ever increasingly important. So we're about oh, to the scoreline soon enough. And so they have a nice shot there. Find the truck, though. It looks like two fall down. Who's going to find one more? There's a trade coming out Brandon. back and forth. Nice. Brandon getting a nice double kill with this SMG. He's just going off this game. Yeah, he's playing great, and Inslayer's going to find one more there. Brandon's able to stay alive. Dak giving away his position with the SMG. Going to get turned around the corner. KB with his 24th kill of the game. It's Brandon's going to help him out there. Almost able to find the second here. Really, as you said, putting in work with that SMG. K-Top going to look for a swing here, but can't really find much. The nade will come out to the backside, and that's dangerous. KB, though, will be able to get out with his life. And let's see if he can find a pick here on the swing. Will be able to find one. Will be able to find the second. No, he won't be on one HP. Dak is able to pick him up. Will the trade come through here? Dak going to find a second as it's going to be Northwood getting control of this hard point as Priestley is going to find one. It's going to be all up to Dak on the site to keep it for them. Priestley is going to push him with a pistol. They'll find some great tags and will find the one v one. The scrap time will go over to the Saints, but it's going to be Northwood who are up two points on this hard point. It's going to be KB in the 1v1 here. Priestley is going to pick up one, going to fall down to the second, but Infinite is next to this hard point. Saints are getting a bit of reinforcements as it's a two-point game. Yeah, it's down to two points, but it looks like the equalizer right there. It's stretching into the lead by one point. It's going to come down to the wire here as they find a nice kill, but now it's very back and forth. The trades are coming out on both sides. Now Saints taking the lead, get a nice double kill. Now they're going to move on the point, but it looks like Mach is there guarding the bottom half. They have to try and take him out if they want to get any time on this point. He finds a nice spot here behind this pillar, but he's going to go up top, going wrap around. KB finds a kill. He's going to get taken out by Dak. Now Brandon is going to find one, and KB's going to find another, but he just barely misses the knife there. Now it's back in the hands of Northwood. It looks like they're going to take the last 10 seconds of this point to stretch a little bit farther in the lead. And now it's just coming down to one more hard point for Northwood and a little over. It's going to be tied up. Oh, it's going to be tied up. One last hard point. Whoever can hold it longer is going to be the victory. Oh, Dak finding a nice double. And now they're playing oh for this point. Dak getting a triple. That's what you want to see if you're a Northwood head oh fan. He gets the quadra. <laughs> He clutches it up out of nowhere, and now the point is going to go into the hands of Northwood. Well deserved, as k top finds one. KB going to find another. Going to be trades all around. The Saints need that mojo back. Inslayer finds one. He's going to keep moving in. But they need to try and take control, and they do. On one HP, we'll be able to take down Inslayer, but that's huge time here for the Saints. The hard point will come through. Mock will find one. Does get taken down, and Saints have full control of this hard point. KB with a cover there, as nobody from Northward is really in the area to contest this one anytime soon. They're getting shot from all angles, but Saints cannot finish off the game here. They have to be ready to rotate to the next point no matter what. They should get these last 15 seconds, but you can see Northwood aren't even worried about this hard point. They're fully setting up for next, as they have the good spawn. Saints are going to be so, so close. Taking this one, K-Top decides to 
push in does fall and so does Dak, but they do have the good spawn, so those kills are really not for much. We're down to our last hard point. KP has to go around the corner, he doesn't see the enemy though. We'll go down to infinite and the trade won't come after us. Northwood have full control of this hard point. It's gonna be some clutch plays from Saints here if they want to win this map. They're looking in a very rough spot right now. Brandon's gonna be able to find some shots onto one, will pick up the kill through the wall, but clock is ticking. Brandon gonna find a couple massive picks there, but the good spawns are they'll still there for Northwood as they're 243, 244, and they're finding all the right kills at the right time, and that should be all she rolls. In Slayer Falls, nobody from St. Clair will be able to get anywhere near the hard point, and as you <laughs> predicted, we're going to decide game five between these two amazing teams. What a close game. I want to say for the record, there is no script. This is not there scripted, is no but script. I got the good predictions, I suppose, as we are going to a game five as Northwood takes game four. What a close game it was, though the Saints were on a point for a while in that game, but it looks like Northwood also had their moment as well. Look at these score lines, They're very beefy indeed. But, oh, what an intense game coming down to the wire. I believe, did you, is it S&D once again? Yeah, it should be. Oh, that's going to be a very stressful S&D match for both of the teams. No more respawns, can't play as aggressive, so we'll see who has the better tactics going forward. Yeah, and we saw Saints take the first S&D of the series 6-3 six, six, on the defensive end. Both teams early on were able to get wins here and there, but just one uh, offensive win for the Saints is all they needed to win that one. So a good map from them there, and they're going to look to replicate things here. Northwood have a bit of momentum here in their favor after winning that last map, but Saints just have to keep their mental, and it's so, so close to taking that map. Northwood just played that last point perfectly. They fully gave up that mid, knew they didn't need it, got the perfect spawns, and even though a couple huge picks came out there from Brandon, it didn't really matter as the rest of the team spawned right next to the hard point. Yeah, they were just, they had complete control of the spawn there. You can see they gave up that second last point like it was nothing new. The Saints couldn't win off of it. Did contest it a little bit near the end in case the Saints really made it onto the site, but Northwood just had those last few points covered. Really came down to the wire. wire. It was very back and forth, and now we're here to the decisive game five against the 12th seeded versus the 4th seeded. It's going to see who really shakes things up. As you can tell, those power rankings are very iffy. It shouldn't be this close with how far these teams are ranked. You can tell that St. Clair is up there with the top of the line teams. Yeah, and with all that being said, we're going to throw it to a very, very quick break. Players need some time to calm down after that one, but we're going to be going to the decisive map five between St. Clair and Northwood. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this.
everybody and welcome back to the decisive game five of the CCL Premier League. Here it is, St. Clair College varsity team versus Northwood University. This is for all the money. It's S and D. This map, we've seen it before. It was a very close game. Now it's going to be another close game here. Looks like St. Clair is starting attack. They have bomb on Priestley. Looks like they're moving towards A. They are going to move their way over to A pretty easily and could maybe even look to get the plant down very, very soon as the push comes through from KB. He's going to get shot by Dak, but will be able to stay alive and gets in a beautiful position there. Does some damage to Dak there. No kills will come through just yet. Brandon is right around this corner, though. Will maybe look for the swing here, but will go down to the pistol of Dak. A great first blood for Dak there. Zinslayer is in a bit of a rough spot. KB does fall down. and is going to be able to find one. Can he find anything else there? Has to make some plays here. The Saints are going to win this round. 20 seconds left. They need to get this plant down, but such a great position there for Infinite. It's going to find one more. It's up to Enslayer in the 1v3 situation. Will pick up a kill and maybe looking to put this spike down, but 10 seconds left. Definitely not enough time to get the plant down, and he will be falling down. Northwood going to be able to take the first round off a couple of early picks. It did start defense, though, and as we've seen before, defense seems to tend to be the favored position by SD. But it's all up to Northwood to try and make this one count. If they can play a clean attack and get a 2-0 lead, it's going to be looking very dicey for St. Clair College. Without a doubt, let's see how Saints decide to play this defense. We've seen these teams kind of succeed more on the defensive side of the game in this search and destroy game mode, so I don't think Saints are panicking just yet. Some early shots coming down from St. Clair, but no kills there. Let's see, the push will be over towards that B side. Brandon loves this spot, always plays it on the defense. Such a strong defensive angle. It's KB. Gonna look for some early shots, doesn't find any kill there. As the push is slow from Northwood, they can't really find too much. Brandon! His only job here really is just to stay alive and just look over that and just as soon as he takes damage drop down use that natural cover so a great position from brandon there is northwood haven't really found too much Priestley's in a very very good spot here as the peak is going to come out from dak and he's going to take down Priestley, and he's going to be able to get out with his life again dak finding the opening pick for northwood and that could be a huge one to start off and say he's going to take a bit of damage from dak here he's going to take a lot of damage from dak here living on 18 hp but the plant looks like it's going to be going down on that A side and Northwood have played this attack beautifully so far but KB just picking up a massive pick onto Dak there's K, K top falls as well from the grenade from Brandon 3v2 situation for the Saints all they need to do is just play together but they need to get the defuse 34 seconds and taking let's see but the 1v1 goes infinite it's gonna take down KB Inslayer is gonna look for the trade but won't be able to find it just yet as infinite is gonna look for another shot there won't find anything but Saints have 20 seconds to go 1v1 situation Brandon has to find the opposition quickly infinite is just gonna play his life doesn't have to push anything as the spike is getting taking and taking Brandon he's gonna look for the shots here but now infinite is just gonna play this cover as long as possible doesn't have to challenge Brandon at all and that will be the second round going over to the side of Northwood St. Clair are able to find all four kills but Northwood just getting that plan down was the reason they win that round and go up with a 2-0 lead very clean around from Northwood and now even if they just keep winning these dis defensive sides St. Clair is going to have to try and make up this difference here. They're going to new win to at least two over Northwood. It's going to be a very, very tough streak going forward. Now, once again on attack. Let's see if it works out a little bit better for them this time. They'll try for B instead of A. I don't know what the game plan should be for them. It seems like they're having a little bit of a rough time here. Yeah, a bit of a rough time to say the least, but how quickly this game swings back and forth. Saints gonna play a bit of an attack like Northwood did, playing it pretty slowly, but Inslay is gonna make up so much room here, and it's a great position to have a player in. Saints should definitely look to push onto that B side of the back that Dax gonna find a little headshot there onto KB, but Inslay up in this great position will be able to pick up the first blood onto Infinite. Dax will get stunned out, finds a couple more shots there, but Saints are 
Saints are pushing towards this A side. It looks like Dak is pushing into the spawn of the Saints. And I don't know if anyone knows that he's back there. He's on a beautiful flank here. And he's going to walk through here. Could find some crucial shots here. The swing's going to come through. He's going to be able to find one. Brandon finds a trade onto Dak, though. That's amazing from the Saints. But Mock finds and Slayer. Now it's a 2v2 situation. Let's see how the Saints decide to play this one. Both players from Northwood now pushing through. Saints have time on their side. Priestley losing that 1v1 to Mock is crucial as Brandon's gonna look for the 1v1 against K Tob and it's gonna be the round going over to Northwood University yet again. They picked up three in a row here and definitely showing that they're here to win the series. They're looking for a sweep and the Saints are gonna need a reverse sweep if they want to have any foothold in this game. But Northwood taking a 3-0 lead is just looking to be devastating. Now, their aim is on point, their strategies are on point, their tactics are on point. Looks like Saints are just having a really tough time figuring out what to do against against Northwood on this map as they've just been playing a near perfect game. Yeah, Northwood playing so, so well so far. Saints definitely have to change their strategy around a little bit and just turn it around see how they decide to play this defense. It's one round at a time. You can't win all six rounds instantly. So one round here and one round there is the best way to come back into it. It's going to be a big push, it looks like. Coming out from Northwood, not something they have done too, too often. Priestley is here on the defense, going to look for some early shots, but won't be able to pick it up. As it's going to be three members pushing B, and it's going to be Mock all the way on the other side of the map, challenging Brandon here as they did last time. Let's see how the push looks for the side of Northwood. Dak is gonna look for something and will go down 2kb early, but Priestley does get taken down by Ktop there. That's gonna be a one for one start to the round, but the bomb is still in the hand of Northwood. Mock is in a dangerous position, takes some huge damage there. Brandon's gonna land the stun, should be able to find one kill there, should get pushed around this corner, almost finding the second on to Mock. There's six HP he's able to live with, and the trade won't be able to come out here from the Saints, but Inslea and KB in a great position position here. Bomb is down. KB's gonna find one more. 2v1 now for the Saints. Sp plan still has to go down and they just have to play this one really passively. Mock's gonna try and run his way all the way over to that B site, but KB is watching across. 14 seconds left. KB it's gonna be all up to him here to find this clutch. 10 seconds left. 8 seconds and ticking. He has to just stick this plant as KB is gonna be rushing on through and this should be an easy easy finish to the round for St. Clair's. They're finally able to pull up up their first on the board there's their first point they won it in a very big manner as well just picking them all off one by one and a nice last round ending kill over to kb what an amazing round for him as well now they're switching sides we got to see the saints play that clean on the attack now try and make some of these rounds back it's up to Northwood to try and hold them back, keep playing like they were in the first three rounds. But maybe we'll see a little bit of a reverse sweep coming out from the Saints if they can play their cards right. But it looks like, like like Priest is gonna meet all the rest of Big Northwood pick. there. He finds a pick and gets oh. almost gets out, but Mock finds it through the wall there. Like very aggressive. They know where Bomb is now. Now the Saints kinda have to play around this. They definitely do as they're gonna have full control of the B site. If KB can just pick up this bomb and rotate over, this should be a pretty easy plant and he'll be able to do so. Just has to be careful here not to go down to some random crossfire. As Ktob is on the flank, but he should be able to make his way into this B site relatively safely. And Slayer holding a nice angle there. KB's just gonna run in here, place down that trophy system, and the plant should be going down in just a second. There it is, the plant is going down. It's gonna be 40 seconds for Northwood to come back into the side. KB will go down for his troubles, however, as it's gonna be a 2v3 now for the Saints, and Slayer's watching this position on the flank as infinite. He's gonna look for something, but it's a great flank from K-Top. Does he have any idea where the enemy is? And Slayer does go down. Now it's a 1v3 situation for Brandon. He's gonna get pinched from all sides here. Won't even be able to pick up one as Mock finds that one. And that's gonna be the fourth round going over to Northwood University as they're that much closer taking this best of five. Yeah, they're closing in on victory here as they get their fourth round. Only two more needed. St. Clair needs five more rounds. That's a long, lot of ground to cover for St. Clair. And uh, with how they're playing right now, they're playing very well, but Northwood just has every angle covered, every strat down. They have defense for anything that St. Clair throws at them. It's not looking great. 
not looking <laughs> the best, but it's far from over. As we said, one round at a time could just all swing either way. Just a couple big plays for maybe a couple players just swing the energy levels could be all the Saints need. It's going to be an attacking round from Northwood. Let's see how they decide to play this one. Have been relatively good on their attack round. I think the only round they've lost has been on their attack, but from what we saw in the first SD the series, that's pretty good considering they didn't win any that time. Let's see how the Saints decide to play the defense here. Is he going to run smoke in the middle? And the grenade over the top, but nobody is going to be on the back end to catch that one. And the Saints doing a good job locking down defensively so far as Northwood half a minute to find something. Brandon yet again on this angle is able to hold it down for them, but 50 seconds left. Northwood have to have to make the move. They have to make a move, and they have to make it soon as time is ticking. Only 40 seconds left on the clock. They're holding their positions very, very carefully. St. Clair now finds a good spot, but Dak opens that up with one pick here. And now another pick going out for oh Infinity. Dak getting goodness. another. That is the Saints cut down the ribbons here as it's only Brandon left remaining. Down to just a few, 50 HP gets taken in with a few bullets, and that's going to be another win for Northwood. Now they're on match point, and I believe they are starting defense. Yeah, they are on match point here. Saints kind of falling apart in this SCP. Just can't seem to get anything going. And you could see why Northwood is one of the top teams in collegiate. They're turned it up to another gear here in this SD. It's still not over, obviously, but 5 1 lead. Looking very, very strong. They just need one more round to close it out. Let's see if our Saints can maybe pull off a miracle, miracle comeback. They're going to be looking to push B early on. Let's see if they can get anything done here. Going to go very, very quickly here. Enslaya getting himself in a good position. KB going to get some info. 1v1 here between Enslaya and is gonna pop off as Breezy is fine. You're gonna find the first pick. Infinite also on 30 HP. Will be able to make it out alive with his life. But Saints finally getting that first pick that they so desperately need to maybe get off to a winning round here. They're all walking up mid. Let's see if they can find some picks here. Can't really haven't really made up too much ground just yet. But as I say that, plant is going down on A, I believe, and there it is. Northwood at 43 seconds to answer this. Infinite's gonna be able to pick up Enslaya, but they're all the way across the map. Let's see if Northwood can bring this one back. The K-Top's gonna fall, and that should be a nice little kill there. KB's gonna pick up Mock, and that should be the nail in the coffin for this round, as it's all up to Infinity in the 1v3 situation. Saints definitely gonna look to close this one out, and they will find a second round. And as we said, one round at a time, anything <laughs> is still possible. Two five-game Saints need four in a row to take this one home. Hey, maybe my prediction was correct all the way through. We just need a little bit of a reverse sweep happen for the Saints. We'll see if it comes through. The first <laughs> step has been taken. Just a few more points stand between them and victory. They're trying to start to close that gap here with Wood. Just needs to not fall apart under this pressure. It's one more round, but they could choke it here as St. Clair really wants this win. They fought so hard to get to here. And now it's full game five. Everything's on the line here. It's winner takes all. But it looks like Northwood is here to play as they push up very, very quickly. Behind the doors, taking the cheesy spots here. Waiting for any push from St. Clair. They're going to pull the trigger now. They are pushing on through. They have the bomb. They need to get planted. Oh! oh that's going to be a disastrous oh. car explosion for the side of St. Clair. Disastrous start as Brandon, who has been locking down a single handily for most of these rounds, falls very, very early, and that is a tragic start. As if he's going to find one, Chris, he finds a trade, though. But Saints, the trades is not what they need right now. They just need clean, untraded kills. 2v3 situation. It's going to be a plant going down on that A site for Northwood in just a few seconds, I believe. As Pulisic is going to be taken down to 94 HP. He's going to get pinched from both sides. Does get stunned up. Looking to stay alive here and will do so. Plant still hasn't go down for Northwood. Maybe they're getting a little bit too cocky, but Mock will find it in Slayer. And that is going to be all she wrote. Northwood are able to take this and able to take the best of three three to two and that's why they're ranked higher the predictions our predictions failed at the very very end but you can tell that rankings are anything st Clair played their hearts out 
and they played amazingly all throughout this series, but Northwood just played the cleaner game just there at the end. And this is going to be a three to win for them. They're going to be very happy with that performance. Our Saints not going to be too distraught, I don't think. I mean, obviously, they're going to be upset they weren't able to take that one down, but taking Northwood to all five maps in the fashion that they did, still a lot to take away from that performance. Uh, nothing to be too upset about. Obviously, they won't be happy, but a lot to learn from that game, a lot to improve on, and definitely a strong showing them for them early in the season. Yeah, as you can tell, it was a long, hard series, but that's not all we have today. We have one more against the University of Northern Iowa. It's going to be one heck of a game, but I'm pretty sure we're going to take a quick break. But before we throw it to a break, we also had one other game today. We didn't see too much of it because of how crazy COD was, but we did catch glimpses of our Overwatch game against Drexel. And that was an amazing game for the Saints. Yeah, I mean, that one was a 3-0, pretty dominant victory. Winning without, down with relative ease as expected, really showing why they're one of the best uh, Overwatch teams in all of Collegiate. Definitely with a couple of new revamps in this roster, going to look to make a huge name for themselves this year. Yeah, they're playing amazingly, but the Saint, the Saint, the COD team is also playing amazingly as well, and we'll see more of them in their second game of tonight right after a quick break.